New tonight, a community ofrenda for Dia de los Muertos is set up in Hillcrest. Thank you for joining us on this Tuesday night. I'm Maria Arcega Dunn. This year, extra steps are being taken to make sure that no one ruins the display. And it comes after vandals destroyed the one that was created last year. Our Juliet Vara joins us live from Hillcrest with more on the extra security. Hi, Juliet. Hi, Maria. Volunteers this year eagerly signed up to be here around the clock morning, noon and night. You can see right here. This is a special place for so many. You can see pictures of people's loved ones and personal items and organizers say they won't let it get destroyed again. I came here to place my grandmother's picture. This is a beautiful display and she was 94 years young. In Hillcrest at the bustling intersection of University Avenue and Normal Street, small flickers of candles will catch your eye. For this community, a place of stillness among the city noise to remember their loved ones. My grandmother's name is Mary. And we called her Grammy. No other place would be as perfect for Jacqueline Delara. You see, this Dia de los Muertos ofrenda or altar lies directly underneath the Hillcrest Pride flag, the exact place she got married in January. So this is a very special place. Last year, Ricky Cervantes started what's becoming a tradition here in honor of his brother, whose murder seven years ago remains unsolved. It started because of my brother. So that's my brother, Rudy. I brought it out to the community and to really celebrate the mixture and the intersections of my Mexican culture, but my gay identity. But last year, someone destroyed this special place overnight. Crushed, scattered, some of the picture frames, the glass all over, and some of the blankets, you know, um, they were gone, right? So it was very devastating to me. We're resilient, we're resistant. So as cliche as it sounds, we rebuilt the altar. And it grew throughout Tuesday night. People from Rancho Bernardo, even San Marcos, came to to place flowers, pictures, mementos, and this year it's not going anywhere. I lost my grandma 15 years ago, and there are moments when it's like it was just yesterday. But having this as an opportunity to be able to to share her with my friends helps to heal that that loss. And back out live here in Hillcrest, aside from volunteers committing to stay here until Thursday afternoon, police have been alerted too, and we've seen them passing by. Again, this altar will remain here until Thursday at noon, and organizers say all are welcome to come by, say hello, bring pictures, and of course, remember their loved ones. We're live tonight in Hillcrest. I'm Julia Vara, Fox 5 News. Our Julia Vara starting us off. All right, thank you.